Hello, my name is Tony Botting, and I'm a simulation specialist at Go Engineer. In this video, we'll walk through the Simulation Express product. Simulation Express is included with every seat of SolidWorks at no extra charge. Here is a press which has a crankshaft that might be driven by a motor for actuation. We can apply a worst case force to the crankshaft at the rod connection and evaluate three things using Simulation Express. Number one, estimate the factor of safety. Number two, the locations of stress concentrations are identified. And number three, evaluate the structure flexibility and deflections. Simulation Express is a first pass stress simulation tool that you can use to help identify potential issues in a product prior to manufacture. We can assume a maximum upward force on the crankshaft when it's at bottom dead center. Go ahead and open the part. Then on the Evaluate Command Manager tab, choose the Simulation Express Analysis Wizard. You'll see a panel in the task pane and a new tree on the left side. The panel in the task pane is essentially the wizard and helps to guide you through the simulation. The tree on the left side acts as a data recorder and command panel. It contains records of materials used, any fixtures and loads you have applied to the part, and records results. As you'll see, when you interact with this tree, it will display command dialogs for interacting with the simulation. So we'll follow the wizard. Notice the six steps you will take are outlined at the top of the panel. We'll be adding fixtures, then loads, then defining a material, then run, and look at the results. We will cover optimization in another quick tip. The wizard provides good explanations of what you're doing and provides a command prompt here to do it. You can also go back or start over if you like. So the first thing I'll do is add a fixture. I'll click that. This opens a command panel dialog on the left. The image here is highlighting a green colored area to indicate that you need to pick a face to apply the fixture to. In this case, the animation shows the remainder of the structure will be flexible if you pick the face to apply a fixture. The blue area records the faces you pick. When done, we'll press OK and you'll see the tree record the command. I'll choose these two bearing areas to simulate a rigid hold down. By definition, we know the bearings are not really fixed, but we'll do this because we want to observe the stresses and deflections in the crank area here where the connecting rod is pushing on the unit. So I've selected the bearing areas and then we click OK. Notice the tree records the fixture applied and new symbols show on the faces of the model. Now we'll look at the task pane wizard and we can add more fixtures, edit them, or click Next. I'll click Next. Now we're at step two for loads. I'll use the add a force button. Again, the command panel opens and requests a face, a direction, and a value for the force. I'll use the selected direction option and choose the top plane for the reference direction. Now I'll select the loading face and enter a force value of 1000 pounds. You can see the arrows showing the direction is upward and normal or perpendicular to the reference plane. And you can see the tree has recorded the force item. Now we'll go to the task pane. I'll click Next. Now we're on step 3 and I'll choose a material. This alloy steel is fine. Notice the yield strength is about 90,000 PSI. This is the value the factor of safety plot will be comparing the stress to. Notice on the tree the yellow component icon now has a green check mark and shows the material name chosen. In the wizard it also shows the value of the Young's modulus or stiffness of the material and the yield strength. I'll click Next. Now it's showing step 4 is to run the simulation. When it's done the first thing you'll notice is an animation of the deformation under load. This is highly exaggerated for a reason. That is, to prompt you if the part is deforming as you expect. You want to make sure that the loads are pushing on the part in the correct direction. Also, the fixture areas should be verified. I'll stop the animation and press the Yes, Continue button. This is the factor of safety plot, based on the material strength and the stress. There are minimum and maximum tags on screen showing the location of each. The text in the wizard indicates the lowest value is about 3.1. I'm going to put a value of 5 in this box to show a red color highlight of areas where the factor of safety is less than 5. Click on the text here to redraw the plot. 
OK, now let's look at the von Mises stress. I'll click on this item. And here's a color plot showing the equivalent stress distribution. And you get a legend assigning values to the colors. And again, a tag showing the value of concern and where it's located. OK, now let's look at the displacement. Here's the displacement distribution, and you can see the largest value is here, about five and a half thousandths of an inch. Also notice in the tree, the results are recorded, and you can right-click on any of these and show, hide, and animate. I'll click on Done, Viewing Results. Here we can generate a report and an e-drawing. I'll choose Written Report. We'll fill in some information here and click Generate. This launches Word and takes the images of the results for you to include in the report. You get a very nice report format with description, table of contents, and other areas you can edit. This page shows some properties like weight, volume, and materials. Here are loads and fixtures information and some finite element technical information. Here's some results showing the finite elements and the stress field. This is the displacement field and the deformed shape. And here's the factor of safety plot and conclusions that you can edit. Now when you're done with this, you can start over or exit out with an option to save the data. You'll be returned to the normal modeling environment. In this video, we provided an introduction to Simulation Express.